this video we will talk about use of variables in make file a variable in make file is of any sequence of character other than colon hash equals to or white space a variable in make file is used to represent a string of text a variable can be used to either list of file names or options to pass to compilers or directories to look in for source files or any other purpose variable can be assigned in two ways one with equals to sign another with colon equals to sign a variable assigned with equals to sign is expanded for every call but a variable assigned with colon equals to sign is expanded only once let's understand this difference with an example taking variable text and setting its value to initial text taking another variable text assigning value of text to it changing text value setting it to updated text added echo to print the value of test here test is assigned with equals to symbol so it should print updated text as it will be expanded every time let's save it issuing make utility you can see here it has echoed with updated text now i will change assignment for test with colon equals to symbol this time it should echo initial text itself as it will be expanded only once at assignment time let's save this issuing make utility you can see here it has echoed with initial text this was the two flavors of variable in make file if you want to append more text to the old value you can use plus symbol here i am using plus symbol for the second time and changing assignment using equals to symbol for test save this file calling make utility it echoed with initial text and updated text both next we will see what happens when we pass same variable value from command line here calling make utility with text value command text it has echoed command text if a variable value is passed from command line argument its value will be ignored in make file if you want to override passed value from command line argument you can use override keyword in make file let's add override keyword before text variable save it issuing again make utility with variable value in command line this time it has echoed overridden value in make file next we will look into target specific variables we can have a variable specific to any particular target let's understand with a simple example i am taking a variable test specific to target 1 and setting its value to target 1 text using same variable test for target to also and setting its value to target to text considering both targets for compilation adding echo for test in target 1 adding echo for test in target 2 saving this make file issuing make utility it has echoed target 1 text for target 1 and target to text for target 2 let's check by adding same variable globally adding test with value global target this is non target specific saving this file calling make utility this time also it has echoed same